This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I explain how the timeline history arrows work in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Which gets me to Final Cut. When I open three or more projects, Bill asks, sometimes Final Cut keeps all of them open and I can move between them with the backward and forward arrows in the center toolbar. Those backward and forward arrows, by the way, Apple calls the timeline history. Other times, though, Final Cut keeps only two projects open and not necessarily the two that I most recently opened. Why? These two arrows are called the timeline history. Apple made a big deal of this when Final Cut 10 first released but it's since not been referred to very often in the help files. If you search for timeline history, you won't find anything. The timeline history only displays projects that you've opened into the timeline, not all projects that are in the browser. When you quit Final Cut, the timeline history is emptied. It's just a, a temporary way of navigating. The browser, of course, keeps your projects forever. The timeline history is used for accessing files, but not opening files. The index is a navigation aid, not an editing tool. For instance, I can play a project in the browser. I can play a project in a timeline, but I can't play a project if it's simply listed in the timeline history. It's there for access, but nothing else. I can modify a project in a timeline, but not the browser and not the timeline history. Rendering is not going on in the background when that project is in the history panel. I can delete a project in the browser, but I can't delete a project in the timeline. I can modify it, delete clips, but I can't delete the project. In the timeline history, I can't do any of those things. The timeline history is a navigation aid which allows me to move between projects that I've already opened in the timeline. Bill continues, so how does Final Cut decide which projects to keep open and which to close? Now, this is tricky. I, I discovered <laughs> it's less self-evident than you might think. I spent a couple hours yesterday playing with this. If you don't make changes to a, a project, you just simply open it in the timeline and look at it. Final Cut will keep two projects in the list. If you make changes to a project, even though Final Cut saves those changes instantly, it keeps all opened projects in the list. So how do I close a project that I no longer need? Well, the project isn't open any more than a project is open by having it be listed in the browser. Only one project is open. That's the one that's displayed in the timeline. The others are simply accessible. Rather than having to go up to the browser to click on a project, you can click on the left and right arrows in the timeline history. It's no more open in the history than it's open in the browser. Also, I discovered, because I was watching this, memory is released or added as you move between projects. So if I were to try to close a project to save memory, that memory has already been saved as soon as I open a different project in the timeline. You can't modify a project which is in the timeline history because you can't access it. You can't release memory because the memory is released as soon as you switch to a different project. So you, you just need to think of this as a way of quickly navigating from one project to another. It's not open, and you don't need to close it. It's closed. You can't modify it, can't delete it, as soon as some other project is displayed in the timeline. Well, Ian picked up this thread. It seems that when you have multiple projects in a library, Final Cut will rarely open the project that you were last working on when you reopen the library. Is there any workaround or way to set up your projects to fix this problem? Also, do you have any idea why Apple hasn't fixed this bug? It's frustrating to many of us. I don't think it's a bug, but here's the rules as I've figured it out. The way that Final Cut handles projects is that when restarting, Final Cut will open all libraries that were open when you quit. It will empty the timeline history. It'll forget all the projects that were open, not in the browser. The browser retains them forever, just the timeline history, which is this navigation tool. It will open the event that was open or selected when you quit, even if it's in a different library. And it will open the project into the timeline that was open when you quit. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for 
Webinar 269. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.